Hi, and welcome to Mirror Friday, episode 82, November 21st, 2018, Executing Cron Jobs in Microsoft Azure. So in this episode, I'd like to talk about um, some of the cron services in Azure. So basically, it's about um, scheduling tasks or um, instantiate flows or anything you can do around scheduling. So I was kind of inspired to do this session based on based on my work for, for InfoQ. So one of the articles I recently wrote was about uh, a competitor, Google, um, also bringing a, a Chrome service into the cloud called Google Cloud Scheduler. So I was kind of diving into this topic and I found out that um, Google basically came in the game pretty late because Azure and um, AWS already had a service like it. So you've got like Azure Schedule, Scheduler and AWS Batches. But anyways, there are some, some ways you can do a scheduling within some of the Azure services. So you got the Azure scheduler, you got a, an Azure function. So this way you can use a, a timer trigger. You got a, an Azure web job, basically. So um, where you can also use the timer trigger in one or multiple functions you have within that web job. And you can do some scheduling around the web job itself. And there's also the logic app where you have a um, schedule, a trigger action, basically. And the interesting thing is that, you know, the Azure Logic Apps will replace Azure Scheduler. So Azure Scheduler is going to be retired. So if you want to schedule your jobs, you could try Azure Logic Apps instead, or maybe a function or a web job. But the scheduler will be retired. So there's no need to, to dive in that one. So in general, with um, a timer trigger in let's say um, you know any of these services you kind of use a cron expression or at least you will do this for a functional web job so here are some of the the expressions um displayed in this table um, you can do seconds minutes hour day month day of the week so there's certain ways you can um, can use these expressions so and here are some some examples of them so you can either run them every minute five minutes a month so there's various ways you can basically use a cron expression to schedule um trigger so in a function um, that will look like this so this is the uh, the timer trigger and within the um, the brackets basically you specify the cron job with that cron expression and then this uh, particular function would run you can also within a web job um, configure uh, a cron job or at least a, a cron expression so this is what you see here so basically you add a what's called a settings.job file to your web job and then uh, publish that up into the cloud and then you can set basically the schedule again using those cron expressions and then within the logic app you basically can use this uh, recurrence um, connector or trigger action and you can again choose certain frequency time zones and when you want to start on one particular day so there's quite an extensive a set of um, properties you can set and you can really on a very granular level um, set your um, schedule basically so i have prepared or at least this is one of the older demos you've probably seen in a, another episode of middle of friday where i was getting the um, the exchange rates um, dollar versus uh, all the other currencies in the world so pull that data based on the recurrence trigger um, basically call a function um, change in the epoch to daytime push it to a queue then there's another logic app listening and then push it into um, cosmos db so this is kind of a certain use case where you ingest data based on a schedule and there's another demo before i'm going to show um, both of them and this is one um, where you can basically trigger uh, or a certain time of the day and get the routes between address a and b and then see if the travel time will take longer or less based on the traffic congestion. So quite an interesting uh, demo as well. So what you'll see here is um, the first um, scenario I was uh, explaining about uh, yeah, ingesting uh, exchange rate. So here you see this pretty um, recurrent trigger, um, nothing too special. You can set the time zone, start time, and then the frequency is one hour. So if I go to the runs, <clears throat> you see that, you know, this trigger basically schedules 
um, a run every hour. So I can go into the details. It's pretty straightforward. It will uh, every hour call an endpoint, get the latest exchange rate, parse it, and call that function to change the um, the date time from EPU to um, to date time, and then basically send that message to you. So pretty straightforward. Then there's another one I like to show you, and this is a more sophisticated one with the travel times and here the interval is okay basically three times in a week or during weekdays I want to at certain hours at certain minutes I want you to get the route between um, A and B so this is from the sample initial variable and then basically um, if the travel time is greater than 15 then send me an email if not, then don't. So it's basically notifying me when the travel time would increase more than um, what I've set here. And as just to show you, this is the route currently. Um, as you see, it only will take about 11 minutes, 6 minutes, 6 hours from Samanish or here to, um, to there. So let me just trigger this. successful um, again I suspect that the travel time again is not bigger than 15 full so an email will not be sent so basically this is another um, way of um, doing scheduling a flow in this case to see if my travel time would um, be within 15 minutes well I, if it's about 15 minutes will notify me so just a certain use case where you can use schedule but there's many various ways where you can use scheduling so two demos and um, two scenarios where I show um, how you can easily use this um, sh schedule and kind of uh, execute a cron job job um, through that schedule. So you can try this one out. The last one um, is basically from a um, tutorial or walkthrough. So you can get this one yourself um, and try it out and so try the same thing. Maybe you can use other waypoints than in this sample. I just um, straightforward use everything in that um, particular tutorial just to um, to get myself a bit more familiar with um, the recurrence trigger and applying it in a different way but there are three ways at least in my view you can use a web job or a function or you could use a, a logic app and the scheduler will um, be retired as I said earlier I also like to point out that um, you know, I'm organizing a conference called Lowlands together with Eldert. Um, this is in Holland. It will be on the 25th of January, so I just want to shout that out. Um, when you watch this, the early bird will still last until the end of November, so there's still time to get tickets. Um, we're almost halfway point of selling the tickets, so, you know, uh, they're running really fast. So, yeah, definitely if you want to come over or if you reside in Holland, then please do attend this event. It's about DevOps, IoT, um, integration, containers, data, a lot of um, stuff around platform as a service um, this particular event I'd like to thank you for watching and also Bistro 360 for uh, being a great host and um, again thank you for watching and uh, do look out for the other episodes by um, my fellow co-organizer presenter of the um, Middle of Friday Kent so he probably has an interesting one lined up for you uh, next week and I'll leave you with the music credits mm -hmm.